Tesla just launched its own electricity service provider for Texas. Is this the best Texas rate plan available? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past 10 years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're going to find expert reviews on solar panels, batteries, and inverters, uh, just about any piece of equipment or technology that makes up a home renewable energy system, as well as industry news as far as what's going on in the solar plus storage space. Now, in today's video, we're talking about Tesla's recent announcement that they're going to be offering their own retail energy plan for Texas ratepayers. Now, as many of you know, Texas is probably the most unique electricity market in the country. And over 80% of Texas is deregulated in terms of which utility provides your power. Now, what that means is that if you're a Texas homeowner, Unlike the rest of the country, where based on where you live, you're pretty much told, this is your utility company, they have a monopoly, if you want electricity, you have to buy from them. Uh, in Texas, you can actually choose where your electricity comes from and, and who you pay your electric bill to. Now in Texas, they call this the Retail Electric Provider or Retail Energy Provider, REP. And so basically, there's over 100 different companies in Texas that provide power to homeowners, and they all have sort of some pros and cons and different rate plans and different ways that the fees are calculated. And so te Tesla has now entered that market uh, with what they call Tesla Electric uh, and a special Tesla Electric mode. Now, in terms of rates, the cost of electricity on Tesla Electric is approximately 13.9 cents per kilowatt hour which in today's market is actually a pretty competitive rate. Now, if I were recording this three years ago where you could still sign up for 10 cent power, 11 cent power, that really wouldn't be any news. But now some Texas homeowners are seeing rates anywhere from 15 cents up to 18 cents per kilowatt hour. So at 13.9 cents per kilowatt hour, I would say this is a very competitive rate. But the really unique thing about Tesla's electric plan is allowing you to take advantage of home battery storage, and specifically home storage using the Tesla Powerwall. You see, most Solar Plus storage systems, up until about two or three years ago, most Solar Plus storage systems were used for emergency backup purposes only. So if the grid went down, you'd be able to power your house independent of the grid using solar during daylight hours, and then being able to charge your battery during daylight hours, and then you can run the house and the critical systems in the house pulling from the battery at nighttime if there was no utility service available. But now you can also take advantage of home battery storage to trade energy back and forth with the power company. So if you have abundant energy as a homeowner, let's say you have more energy than what you need, your solar's overproducing, you have extra energy stored in the battery, uh, under the Tesla electric plan, you can actually export your excess battery power and receive up to 90% price credit. So as a Tesla electric member, you can actually export excess energy that you have stored in your Tesla Powerwall battery. So this is an additional way that you can monetize your energy storage capability. The other thing you can do is use the battery to avoid having to purchase electricity during peak rate hours. So like many time of use plans, Tesla Electric does have certain on peak hours. And this is generally in the late afternoon when, especially in the Texas heat, the air conditioning is having to work the hardest. And that's when more energy or the most energy is being demanded from the grid. And so the, the rate that you pay per kilowatt hour is higher during those peak hours. But using Tesla Electric mode, uh, which is really just fancy branding for be able to draw energy out of your battery so you don't have to buy from the grid during those hours, it'll allow you to completely eliminate or at least minimize the amount that you have to purchase during those peak rate hours. Now, the cool thing about how Texas has it set up is that switching your retail electric provider 
can be done in about five minutes over the phone. So your transmission and distribution utility, or what we call TDU, that's one of the utility companies that actually owns the lines that run to your house. But the retail electric provider is basically who provides your rate plan. So it determines what, you know, who you pay your bill to, how the bill is calculated, and, and, and ultimately where the electricity comes from, uh, from across those transmission lines. But switching your retail energy provider can all be done over the phone. Since the physical lines and whoever owns the physical lines doesn't change, it's just the source or the supply of electricity that's changing. Uh, so if you need some help switching your retail electric provider, um, be sure to see our previous video also on the top uh, electric companies in Texas. But all of them, from my knowledge, all of them uh, offer a process where you can sign up either on their website or over the phone, and you don't have to change any physical equipment or change the physical meter at your house at all. Now, keep in mind, whenever you switch to a new rate plan, you generally are going to be locking in for some period of time. It could be one year up to five years. And so just like a cell phone contract, once you choose your rate plan, even if there's some kind of a teaser or an introductory rate, you're pretty much going to be locked into that plan for the next several years. And if for some reason you have to change and switch to a new plan, there could be some penalty fees or some change fees associated with that. So make sure that you do your homework, find out which plan is going to be the best for you. Uh, again, if you're looking for which companies have the best rate plans for people that have solar and battery storage, or if you're planning on adding solar and battery storage to your home, be sure to check out our previous video on this topic to give you an idea of how you can get the best dollar for dollar payback in the most favorable solar friendly terms from your retail electric provider. Now, Tesla Electric launched this year, 2023, and you can sign up directly on the Tesla Electric website, which I'll make sure that we get a link in the description below. But here's the thing, in order to qualify for this program, not only do you have to be in part of Texas that is deregulated in terms of the retail energy provider, but you must have the Tesla Powerwall battery. So this is not something that any solar plus storage owner can take advantage of. If you're using the Enphase battery or the Franklin battery, uh, I'm afraid the Tesla electric plan is not gonna be available for you yet at this time. But if you have a Tesla Powerwall, or if you're considering investing in home storage with the Tesla Powerwall, then you should be able to take advantage of the new Tesla electric rate plan. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos and the information that we publish here on Solar Surge, make sure you click on that thumbs up button. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish our new videos, it'll come up in your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner in Texas and you're looking at solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for the Tesla Powerwall or, or, or for any of the other leading home battery storage systems, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick Zoom call with one of our experts, and we'd be happy to provide some pricing and some information for you. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some time with Solar Surge again. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.